Hello, I'm Parker Carrick and I am a 4-H alumni from Marion County, specifically Patoka, Illinois. As we go into National 4-H Week, it gives us an opportunity to reflect on how 4-H has impacted each and every one of us. And I know for me, 4-H has certainly impacted me in a variety of ways. After I was a Clover Bud for two years, I joined the regular 4-H program at eight years old and continued until I was 18. I had a lot of different opportunities, whether it be through leadership, communications, trying different projects, or serving on a local, state, or national level. And that really gave me the opportunity to be thankful and grateful for all 4-H has given me, as well as to teach others about the impact that 4-H can have on them. So at eight years old, we got to choose different projects. And so um, growing up on my family farm here, I had a couple of hogs that I would do um, just for the showing and then I would also do public presentations as well as each year I tried to choose something new So whether that would be interior design cake decorating sewing I would just try to diversify my interest a little bit But really the the ones that stuck the most were leadership and public presentations 4-H really opened up the door for a lot of leadership opportunities. So I started out in our club as um, the secretary and then eventually the president. And then that got me involved on the county level, serving with the federation, which got me into committees that helped serve the community. And through that, I was able to serve in different officer roles. So I was historian, secretary, and then president. And then because of the connections I had made there, I was able to apply for the Illinois State 4-H Chief Leadership Team and serve as an officer there and eventually um, the president of that organization as well. And then I was also able to serve in leadership roles on the national level, whether it be through National 4-H Congress um, on their youth leadership team or a facilitator for National 4-H Conference. And so in 2016, I was able to attend the National 4-H Congress in Atlanta, Georgia. And this really was a um, my first national event with 4-H and it, it was really one of my first out of state travel for 4-H and that led to some different things. In 2017, I um, was able to attend the National 4-H Conference in Washington, DC. And I was supposed to return again this year as a facilitator. Um, I also was able to work with the Ohio State 4-H Youth Leadership Team and attend their, um, their state conference as well as now in college I am working with a Kentucky 4-H program to help um, them develop something they can use in this virtual environment. Because of the diversity of all of the projects that 4-H offers, it really allowed me to explore and find what I was interested in. And so growing up on a family farm and that coupled with my experiences in 4-H, I knew that I loved agriculture. I loved um, speaking about it. I loved being in leadership roles through that. And so that really led me to, to my college career. So because of the connections I had made in 4-H, I found that Kaskaskia College was a great place to start uh, my agriculture career and college path and then I transferred to Murray State University where I am now in my last year studying agriculture leadership. So I'm hoping that I can take the skills and knowledge that I learned in 4-H and apply those to a career because leadership is everywhere and, and we need leadership within agriculture as well. One of the unique things about 4-H is the longevity of the impact that it leaves. So it's not something that you just join a club um, for four years and then, and then you're done with it. But they teach you these skills, these really applicable skills that you can use throughout, throughout college, throughout your career. And that's really where the unique impact comes from. From a very young age, I was learning how to make a motion, run a meeting, keep minutes. I was learning how to fill out applications. I was learning how to, to talk to people. And all of these skills are things that I can use down the road. And another impact that it had greatly was even just just a little thing of showing me what I was interested in. And I think that that is something that speaks for itself, that 4-H was diverse enough and willing enough to um, help me find what I was interested in and really be able to give back to the community. I think that that's another important aspect of 4-H is the community service and they, they really um, make that a priority within the 4-H program. And I think that people can see that now and, and even after you're done with your regular 4-H career, Alumni all over Illinois and all over the rest of the states, they're wanting to give back um, to the communities, whether that be in the role of a leader on the foundation board or something similar, or even just serving in their communities. These are the things that 4-H members are wanting to do because of the impact that 4-H had on them.